I've talked about the situation in Myanmar. I explained how the government, the military ousted from power was essentially a US client regime. I've warned about Aung San Suu Kyi and her role in helping recolonize the, the country for Western special interests, especially the US and the British. Uh, so I wanted to go over this so-called national unity government that they've announced that they claim should be running the country instead of the military and who they want the world to get behind. And I want to show you how uh, all of the prominent, most prominent members of this national unity government are in fact directly connected to the US government, having received US government money for many years, running uh, politically oriented organizations inside Myanmar, interfering in all aspects of Myanmar's political and social landscape. Uh, so let's just start with Aung San Suu Kyi herself. Uh, I've gone over this many times before. She had literally went to Washington meeting with the head of the National Endowment for Democracy and former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, who was very okay with starving half a million Iraqis to death through U.S. sanctions in the lead up to the, uh, uh, the eventual invasion of the country and the, the death of a million Iraqis. So uh, that's who she went to Washington to meet and received this award from. I also pointed out how Aung San Suu Kyi had this Australian professor as her economic advisor, and I uh, revealed how he had these ties with the U.S. State Department, how he was testifying in front of Congress, uh, he was connected to U.S. aid, and also open society. So he was basically Aung San Suu Kyi's handler. I also pointed out who announced the national unity government. So according to uh, France 24, this was the announcement of the national unity government and it was veteran Myanmar democracy activist Min Ko Nang. And I pointed out how he has gone to Washington to meet with the National Endowment for Democracy to receive awards from them. I've also pointed out how uh, he was one of these senior leaders of this 88 generation group, an opposition group that supported Aung San Suu Kyi and helped her and her National League for Democracy get into power, uh, how they meet directly with George Soros and, and help him determine where he's going to send these millions of dollars he pours into the country to interfere in Myanmar's internal political affairs. Uh, then we have the Minister of Education, Ja Hatoy Pan, as part of this Ketchin Land Research Center, uh, right down here as the strategic advisor. And they, they're not very transparent about their funding, but if you do a little digging, you'll find their reports and you'll see the USAID stamp on all of them. There is Lien Mong Sakong. He is the Minister of Federal Union Affairs. This is him at the CDES. He is the head of it. And it actually stands for Center for Development and Ethnic Studies. And if you come down here, they reveal that it's funded by George Soros's Open Society and also Ford Foundation. But then they also do things like this, this book launch symposium funded by the Canadian government or announce the U.S. State Department's Wysili program where they take young people from all over Southeast Asia, send them to the U.S. for indoctrination, bring them to corporate funded think tanks and then send them back home where they worm their way into the socio-political mechanisms of, of any one of these countries in Southeast Asia and serve as a vector for U.S. interference. They're also funded by this Hans Seidel Stiftung Foundation. It's basically Germany's version of the National Endowment for Democracy. They work hand in hand, interfering all around the globe. And then we have Zin Mar Ang. Zin Mar Ang is the National Unity Government Minister of Foreign Affairs. And as you can see, she has her own web page on the National Endowment for Democracy's website because she's a fellow at the NED. Uh, she also got the 2012 International Women of Courage Award handed to her by Hillary Clinton and Michelle Obama. She also took part in this 2015 event organized by the NED in Washington. And if you come down here, they admit that she co-founded this Yangon School of Political Science, an NED-funded institution. Yagon School of Political Science, if you go to their own Facebook page, you'll see things like this. Lectures by Francis Fukuyama, this extremely pro-war, pro-interventionist uh, 
think tanker from the from the U.S. Uh, he was on the board of directors of the National Endowment for Democracy, and he actually has his own web page on the NED's website. Uh, this Yagon School of Political Science also had a talk given by Sean Turnell on Sang Suu Kyi's handler. So do you see how it's all connected? How they're, they're all associating with each other and how the common denominator is this US backing and funding. They had a UK embassy event, uh, a Shevening scholarship uh, workshop, which is basically the UK's version of Wysely and a U.S. Embassy talk on federalism in Myanmar. Then we have Ang Myo Min. He is the National Unity Government Minister of Human Rights, and he's got his, he's got his own page at the British Council. Uh, so that should tell you something right there. Uh, but then there's this Irrawaddy, NED-funded uh, media organization in Myanmar. Chinese media say, say Western groups paying Myanmar NGOs to oppose investment projects. That is a fact, that's 100% that's true. And if you come down here, he kind of obliquely admits that he's being funded by the US government, but he doesn't say it outright. But of course, if you go to the NED's 2016 uh, annual report, there's the Yagon School of Political Science right here that I just talked about, and here is his Equality Myanmar NGO down here, funded by the U.S. government through the National Endowment for Democracy. And then we have SASA. SASA is the National Unity Government Minister of International Cooperation, whatever that even is. And if we read his story, Dr. SASA and Baroness Cox, a story of health and hope. His patron is Prince Charles from the U.K., uh, the, the royal family from the UK uh, who had previously colonized his own country is his patron. So I, I don't think we need to go into too many more details about Sasa, who he is and where he's coming from. Uh, then we have Na Susanna Hla Hla So. She is the Minister of Women, Youth and Children's Affairs. Here she is at uh, a leadership seminar. And if you scroll down here, this is the, the UN. Uh, this was funded by the Australian, Danish, Finnish, Swedish, and British governments. Then there's the NED funded Irrawaddy giving us her background. And they tell us that she used to work for World Vision. They claim it's an international Christian relief organization, but it's not. It's a front for the U.S. State Department. Uh, it's another one of these supposedly private, independent, separate organizations going into all of these countries. But right here from World Vision's own website, World Vision and Ministry of Home Affairs signed collaboration agreement. And then down here, to help reduce the vulnerability to trafficking in Myanmar and to effectively support returned trafficking victims, the Embassy of the United States of America has provided 700,000 US dollars to World Vision Myanmar to implement an anti-trafficking project in Myanmar over a period of three years. And whether the money ever really went to that or not is a total mystery. And if you know anything about World Vision's background, uh, Money disappearing is a very common occurrence. It happens all the time with them. Do, do the research. Uh, and then here she is talking at this Southeast Asia People's Summit. And this is for something called Forum Asia. But Forum Asia is just this, this thing funded by the Taiwan Foundation for Democracy, which is an NED subsidiary. Uh, Henrik Bowles, this is, a, this is another German NED partner, Ford Foundation, Freedom House, another NED subsidiary. So it's, it's called the Asian Forum, Asia Forum, but it's funded by all these Western governments. And then finally, there's E. Tinzar Meng. She's the Deputy Minister of Women, Youth and Children Affairs. And she's very young. So we went from Aung San Suu Kyi all the way at the top, all the way to one of their youngest members of this national unity government. And if you go to her, her Twitter feed, uh, you'll see her condemning China. The power must be at people. We are not serving your big brother. Beijing CCP should stop devalue people rights and democracy. And then she's talking about the Milk Tea Alliance. 
a U.S. State Department project because none of the governments in this region want conflict.